ask you about the last season of Game of Thrones. Go ahead. Can you not answer anything? Are you allowed to answer anything about Well, it depends on what the question is. Do you know how it ends? Yes. How did you find out how it ends? You read, read the whole script? I read the script, yeah. And how did you, one word on how you felt when you read the last episode of Game of Thrones? Well, <laughs> it was such a mixture of feelings. No, one word? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, it was. It, I was excited, and I, I you know, I, I thought that, you know, Dan Weiss, David Benioff, the, the, the creators, they, they, they just couldn't have done a better job on, on ending, our story. Do you think fans will be satisfied? Um, I was satisfied. I don't know. I mean, I think it's one of those things. Uh, there'll be a lot of, you know. Who knows? It's always that thing. You, you, how, you don't want it to end. If, you, if, if, I'm, if I'm watching a show that I love, I just don't want it to end. So any ending is kind of like, ah, could we just, what about? Um, but uh, no, I think they will be satisfied. I know we, everyone on the show, have, we've worked harder than ever before. Like We spend twice as much time shooting this, these six episodes than we did on, on two full seasons before. Um, no expense has been spared. I mean, we've, we've gone all in. So. Um, we really hope that people will like it. We've done our best. Have you already filmed your final scene? I've, I've filmed my final scene, yes. Was it emotional for you? It was, um, it, yes, yes it was, yeah. So it's gone from your life now, it's done? Yeah, I don't think it'll ever be gone from my life. <laughs> no, I'm going back to Belfast uh, next week, so it's not, I'm not 100% done. Mm -hmm. But the last scene in the script, I've shot that, yeah. How is the last scene with me. The last scene with you, yes. you shot. How has Game of Thrones changed your life? I don't know if it's changed, it's a difficult thing. I think that you spent nine years with someone. You, you're gonna be, like nine years ago, you, you were a different person. Uh, so it's difficult to say that, well, I'm different now because I work with Variety or because, well, you've met other people in your life. A lot of things happen. What is unique about this, you know, as an actor, you, you have to learn very early on, my, I had to learn in my career that uh, you get so close to someone and it's so intense, and then two months later you have to say goodbye, and you might not see these people again, or you might work again 10 years from now. So you have to learn how to let go and not get too attached. At the same time, you have to open up. Um, but here, it, it's been nine years since we shot the pilot, so, so you've, 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 you have gotten to know someone very, very well, and you've, you, uh, you, I really like these people. I mean, we've, we've, uh, you know, one of the, one of the guys said it the best. We've, we've had this amazing. Um, I don't know if this is allowed to say, but like, in, there's been no assholes on the show, and we've had a big cast and a lot, a, a huge crew, and we, we haven't had any assholes. It's, it's quite something. So, to answer your question, has it changed me? Who knows? We change all the time. But I'm going to miss uh, all those people, that's for sure. Was there anything that happened to your character that you were like, this can't happen? Like, did you, throughout the season, were there t seasons, were there times where you Oh, the seasons. Want, yeah. Were there times where you thought, I can't do this, or I don't want this to happen to him, or like, are they going down the right oh, path, or this is a point of no, no return? No, I mean, I think there was, you know, shocking moments. And I think that, that that's what the show has been very good at. It's such a fine balance, where it's, is the shock too big, or is it taking... I think that for me, um, when I read the, like, those two moments that, that's, that stand out, the, the Shireen being burned at the stake, I thought was just cruel. I mean, it made sense story-wise, and I, I understand why they did it, but I just, I just couldn't watch it, and it just it was difficult to even read it. And then I thought that it was very disturbing when what's this, the name of the kid who had to, who was still being breast breastfed when he was seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, yeah. <laughs> it was like, yeah. it was so weird uh, and wrong on, <laughs> on every level. Um, but no, other than that, I think that, I mean, I think the beauty of it, it's, it's, it's made, it made sense. I mean, even the most extreme things, have, have, they've been, been driven by story. And I think at this point in the show, at the, up until the, the, the final season here, we're really, you know, you you're reaping the rewards of that, the work that's been put into all these characters. So now, as an audience member, you're kind of invested in every single one of these people, mm -hmm. which is, uh, yeah, I, I shouldn't talk about the ending here. So, so but it, 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 it's, it makes it for very interesting uh, storytelling, I think. What about gender equality? What have you been doing to 
help tip well, I've been the talking about it. I mean, it's, it, that thing is, it's been amazing the last, I mean, you know, in our business, the last year, how things have just exploded in a good way. Um, and I think that obviously Hollywood is, is this strange little thing. It's not necessarily the way the rest of the world works. Uh, but I think that this, this, the, it, it has a lot of, there's a lot of symbolism in, in what goes on uh, with the whole Me Too, Time's Up movement. Um, globally, there's a lot of work to be done. You still have you know, 150 countries more where they have legislation that discriminates against women. Mm -hmm. um, but you, you do have a feeling that uh, the times are changing and they're changing fast in, in, in a good way. And I think what's important, it's important what's happening in Hollywood because we look to the movies and we look to Hollywood to show us a representation of ourselves. Yes. And so this dialogue that's happening will trickle down throughout the world because if it's happening in Hollywood, it'll happen in other societies as well. Um, and so I was wondering, do you think that we're at a tipping point in Hollywood? Do you think that what's happening with uh, female empowerment and gender equality in Hollywood is leading to real change? And what kind of change would you like to see? Well, I think representation is important. And I think that is happening now and, and, and it will continue to happen. I think with these things, Big changes, it takes time and, and then, you know, patience is, is, you know, it's very difficult to be patient and I'm, I'm sure we're going to have one of those, it's going to be the wave thing where, you know, you know, it comes up and then it goes down a little bit, but I'm pretty sure we've, over the next 10, 15, 20 years, you'll see, uh, you know, 20 years, in 20 years time, looking back at this time, uh, there will be a lot of going, what do you mean? How could that happen back then? Why didn't people do more? Why, how, you know, how did you function under those rules? Mm -hmm. um, because there is uh, still a long way to go, but you can, I mean, you can see it, it changing. I mean, it's, it's every, every week there's a new story, um, a new positive story. And, um, you know, it, it's one of those things that there, there is no way back because it makes sense. And the thing is, it, it, there is no, I mean, women are brilliant, as brilliant as men, it, you know, and, and, and if, you, if you exclude half the population, you, you, it, you're just making it more difficult for all of us. So um, it's going to happen because it's the only right thing.